happened? Hello? I... I can't see. I... Walter? Well, moment of truth, detective. Darn it, Bunny. Why can't you come with me? I already told you. I have a strict duty to my people. Your people don't know right from wrong anymore. And they're going to be locked inside this nut house for as long as they live. I don't want you to be a part of this, Bunny. I heard what you said about internal vault security. If anybody stays alive after all this, they'll just take the Overseer's throne and continue the madness and corruption. Enough, Walter. I said in the Golden Gallop that I'd tell you myself that there was going to be a change in the plans, but my plan stays. There was hope in your plan when the Overseer was still alive. But trying to get this to work in this state of affairs is just crazy. Says the man that tries to fight crime in the wasteland. Walter, I know it sounds crazy, but... People are always going to manage to fight each other over the most idiotic reasons. Whether it be for beliefs, for country, or money. People are going to do it, and somebody needs to stop it before it repeats itself. People like us. War never changes, does it, Bunny? No, it certainly does not. Which is why we both have a duty to our people. Mine being in the vault, and yours in the wasteland. I'd love nothing more than to join you, but it's not meant to be. You did what you could for the vault. You ended the conspiracy, stopped Jensen from performing any more deeds, and now we won't have to worry about that dreaded enclave that I'm hearing about. It's time to part ways. That's our cue. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Walter. Catch! From your troubles! Bunny! I'll never forget you, Walter. He's gone! What is that? Is that my head pounding that hard? Wait. No. Wait, I was... I was trampled. Get it together, Bunny. There was a... a, a gunshot. Yeah. Sent everyone crazy. Sent them for the hills they couldn't go to. My lord. That dumb guard. You're getting too animated, sir. Keep your barrel pointed, men. Death don't scare them no more. What gave you the right? We're trapped. There's no hope now. Everyone, please. Rioting will only worsen the situation. Yes, the Vault 54 door is now officially closed, but perhaps we can find an alternative. All we ask of you now is to return to your home so Vault Security tries to maintain control of the current situation. How come the man in the hat could leave, but we couldn't? He was not an affiliate of Vault 54. He was sent here to... We're getting ready to snap! Hey! Do not step back right now or we're forced to shoot! No! Not in here! Call for reinforcements. <sighs> that fool! I... I remember. They banged on the door for hours like lunatics. But what is that? What's that thing in front of me? Oh, my gun. Okay, Bunny. Time to move. <clears throat> oh, my darn ribs. Who knew how long those dwellers stomped on me? Ugh. <clears throat> Ow. Ow, I can hardly stand. <coughs> oh, man. Hey, that's... Why, that's not my head. That noise is coming from the vault door. <coughs> hey. Hey, the vault's closed, do you hear me? I don't know who you are, but... The Enclave. Hey, I don't know what exactly you want. <coughs> but... <coughs> but there's nothing in here for you. Believe me. What the heck are they pounding it with? At least my pip boy isn't broken. Mmm. Can't say the same about my rib. Ouch. <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me, little old vault boy, huh? Question is, where do we go from here? No stim packs on me. Great. Well, guess we can try the medical pavilion. Bet money it's either packed or deserted, though. Glad I'm undercover.
I... I'm sure the trust system here is way out of whack. Wait. History shows that times like these are the ones that... that truly hint at a trivial point in which... in which we have the choice to either come together as a people or become severed deeply and... and remain in that state based on that one point. So please, to all of you, choose wisely because, well, we're going to be stuck together in the same place at the end. Of course. Dusty, if one thing can survive wars, it's the radio. <laughs> Poor thing. Sounds like he dove right back into his alcoholism. And when he hits it, he hits it hard. Ugh. If anything, I could use one. Better head over there. I'm gonna leave this track on for all of you. <sighs> to remember the good times. Oh. Back up. I've got vodka and some matches, and I'm not afraid to use them. You wouldn't do that to the woman that rigged the goat now, would you? But funny The one and only. I uh, never thought I'd see you again. Likewise. How are things, Dusty? <gasps> oh, just holding a few down long enough to speak clearly. I don't... I don't know how long it's been since... Since... Since all this happened. I was hoping to get some answers from you, actually. Oh, you shouldn't have come and seen me for that. I'm just a radio announcer. Which means you should have the inside scoop on just about everything that goes on around here. Look, Bonnie, the bulletin stopped coming in after everything went dark. I had a guy for that until... Until the idiot got popped in the head by one of the overseer's men that day. Oh no, not Jacobs. <laughs> yep, took a few pot shots at a guard a little after the ballroom massacre. Managed to run to the studio door before getting some hot lead. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get arrested or anything? I tried closing the door after Jacobs got hit, but the guards put a foot under the door before it could close. Ran me back to the microphone with a gat pressed against my neck. Had to say whatever they wanted. Stay indoors. Remain calm. Nothing to fret about. Things like that. Never cried so much in my life after they left. <laughs> I just hope the mic wasn't on. You better not be telling those dogs put a gun to someone your age. Yeah. Tell me their names. I'll see to it they get an interrogation they won't forget. <laughs> nah, Bunny. They won't listen. Even then... They don't have it knowing that Tyra cop down here. I have a badge, don't I? <clears throat> For what? Mackenzie's law enforcement? That's no good here anymore. Second in command took over Overseer's position. Well, third in command, since Jensen's dead and all. Had to re-regulate all the boys in blue to root out the nasties. Wait, so third in command on internal vault security wasn't in on Bill 54 business? Apparently not. But... He's as brutal as any. Uh, who? <sighs> Officer Grant Custer. Well, Overseer Custer now. Custer? You mean that silent by-the-books hillbilly? <laughs> he ain't so silent now. Really broke that reserved attitude of his when he heard that Mackenzie got shot. Along with Jensen. Nope. Not this time around. Hey. I'm tired of you running straight to the booze when you're under duress. <sighs> but I guess I can't blame you this time. I... I gotta head back to my mic, Bunny. All right. <sighs> if what you're telling me isn't some drunken fabrication, I'll go give Mr. Custer a talking to. Oh, okay, Bunny. Just stay put and do what they say for now. I'll try to have them discharge you from the air until I can sort this out. And hand me one of those vodka bottles. My darn rib is killing me. Ugh. 
Uh, is this really the old vault center? Everything's so barren now. The lights, they have a reddish hue to them. <coughs> Please tell me that isn't blood. I can only hope they all found a safe place to hide. Never would I think things here could be that way. Who's there? Hey! I said who's there? What the? Hey, lower the gun, Missy. Not until you tell me who you are. And it looks like you're packing some serious heat there as well. Where did you civilians get weaponry like that? Oh, we got them from a few of our guide friends we know. Forcibly. Does that excite you? Hey, 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 stop it. I can clearly see this woman is of healthy repute. Don't worry, we'll drop our weapons. Drop them, Berkeley. Well, they're on the floor now. What you gonna do now? Do you boys have permits for those guns? Heh. <laughs> I need one of those in a time like this. Yeah, come on, lady. We're just trying to survive, is all. What are you? cop or something? As a matter of fact, I am. See this badge? I've been authorized under the leadership of Overseer McKenzie. Mackenzie's dead as a doorknob, sister. <sighs> well, yes, but... And here we were, thinking this broad had the upper hand on us. I still do. I'm the one with the gun now. <clears throat> or do you? <laughs> What's with that ugly slump? Got two left feet or something? I... I'm fine. I just... <clears throat> uh, eh... Ate a bad can of cram, is all. Ain't no can of cram tore my stomach up that bad. <sighs> oh, I see what she's pulling. Got sucked in the gullet, eh, girly? That's all right. Just lay down the gas so we can, uh, help you. No, no. Don't you, don't you dare touch me. <laughs> S stay back. Oh, man. This is gonna be too easy. Get away from me. You two. What do you think you're doing? Berkeley, get the guns back. Freeze! <laughs> Lady, are you okay? I... I think I need a doctor. A stim pack would suffice if... Uh, if you have any. The vault center is not a safe place for you, ma'am. No need to be here. Come with me. We're gonna see what Overseer Custer can do for you. The Overseer's office is just down this hallway. You think you can make it, ma'am? Uh, as long as I can get treatment for my side when we get there. If standing hurts this much, sitting in that office won't do me much better. Sir, I found this girl being harassed by a couple of looters down in the center. Shot them both dead. Girl says she's injured. Gee, the one place that stayed the same. Good heavens, find her a chair. Uh, Easy now. My lord, wh what has this vault done to you? Uh, trampled me. Tried to shoot me. You know, the usual. Go get her, Stimpak, before we have to waste another doctor's bag. Hurry! Sir! I apologize for what happened. And well, what could have happened to you down there? Ma'am, you know a looter never worked a day in his life to earn that title. Dang ruffians. Ordered to shoot on sight immediately after we learned that the Overseer was dead. Uh, poor Mackenzie. Never liked the man much myself, but he was a good leader. Never wanted harm for nobody. Was a shame to see Jensen's body next to his. Ah well, what's done is done. Ain't nothing we can do about it now, I suppose. Hey, here, here you go, miss. Thanks. Stay still one bit. Ah. Uh. I hope that can relieve some of the pain, miss. Now, you mind telling me your name? It's for the log. You don't remember me, Custer? Hmm. I don't seem to call, ma'am. And it's Overseer Custer now. Back in basic training? The one you and those other recruits couldn't stop gawking at? Remember? Bunny? Oh, right! You were the little number that got the detective promotion. Well, hey, if it isn't Bunny, how you been? 
I've seen better days, Custer. We all have. Left and right, there seems to be some loony that's lost his mind that my boys have to risk their necks arresting or putting down. It's like Vault 54 has a stomachache it just can't put to sleep. I need an update. I've been out for who knows when and only came to a second ago. My last memory was that of the vault door getting shut. Oh, Bunny. That's a darn shame it is. And to be honest, it would have been better if you stayed asleep just a little while longer so you could wake up to an organized vault again. That's what me and my boys have been working on ever since that uproar. How long? Two days now, Bunny. We'd be asking for a miracle for the situation to simmer once more, but two days just ain't long enough for that. Officer, go get me and Bunny some coffee. We have a lot of catching up to do. Of course, sir. First thing I figured was that I had no authority around here anymore. It was like that hard work was all for nothing. Oh, no, ma'am. You delivered great progress during your line of work, which I can restore, if you'd like. Well... I don't know if there's any work worth doing at this point. With the vault closed, I... But it's as if we went back a couple of pegs. Like, we're no better than the wasteland. Nonsense! And even if the course of everything could be altered in some way, it was bound to happen at some point. Just a part of being human, I reckon. That's it? Well, I suppose so. <gasps> I had to haul it out of this vault and into the wasteland, risked my neck to find some drunken wastelander to bring back here, which I narrowly even finished, and had to see things I thought I'd never see only for you to tell me that it was bound to happen. I can't think of any way that the vault could have gotten around that situation. Bunny, it's a darn shame, but it's a fact. Maybe if Overseer McKenzie deleted that vault tech message, we could be out of this mess and he could still be alive. And even then... How long before the citizens would want out without some VT message? Like I say, just human nature. And here comes our coffee. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee, 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Hmm. Never thought I'd see old Hamsworth delivering my breakfast again. Guard must have sent him because he was tied up. That'll be all, Hamsworth. Of course, sir. So, tell me what's going on, Custer. This obviously isn't something that's going to go away on its own. I'm glad to see you're still providing some sort of enforcement. This ain't no regular enforcement. I like to call it a regime, if you will. But I know I'm not the only one that stood up and did something. From the sounds of that story earlier, you're the siren that seduced the lowly detective into our lovely home. Walter, such a Johnny Guitar of a man. Cold on the outside, sweet underneath. But not soft, that's for certain. Heh, what a couple you two were. Expose that smug old Jensen and his pal O'Neill as the crooks they really were, right in front of their faces. Takes a tough one, or a lucky one to do that and walk away without a few bullets in them. And then there was Daniels. Now that was unexpected. Usually, the young ambitious ones get too hot-headed to fall for some frame-up. The way he died just... You did what you had to do. Well, I'm over that, Overseer. I don't know if it was getting the truth out of him, or putting lead in Jensen's skull that made me satisfied. But Daniels was one of many who became seduced by that harebrained scheme. The boy died the night before. That was just a tragedy. Hmm. How do you reckon that outcome, Detective? I reckon the outcome could have been different, but I see now that it really couldn't. The Enclave had that vault tech message bugged from the beginning, so whoever the recipient, they were determined to follow, whether we open the door for him or not. Ah, so it looks like I won't have to explain the current situation. You knew them Power Armor boys were trying to jimmy that lock. I, um, yeah. I'd nearly forgotten. Sounds like an old car is smashing the outer side of the vault door when I awoke. Good you know. Now we can get to business. Now hold on! The coffee in solitude has been nice, but what on earth makes you think I'd be compelled to work under the rule of somebody I hardly even know? I'm the best you've got, Bunny. You can either side with me, i.e. the vault, or perhaps band up with one of those looter groups me and my men have a habit of pumping full of holes on a daily basis. Why, you... <sighs> you were saying? <sighs> well, you're close about the old car hitting the door, thought. Turns out, slamming the door in their faces 
hadn't a strong enough message for them to leave. Enclave want what we got, but ain't too keen to the phrase, live and let live. Want something more than just us vault dwellers. They've got some fixation on some little project me, Overseer Mackenzie, and a select few of us were working on before the fall. What the heck do they even want with us anyway? And the project? I wasn't let in on any project. Let me explain, but I want you to listen closely and not lose your cool. Fine. Good. Here's the ordeal with the Enclave put simply. These are some of the biggest, meanest men out there in the wasteland. More advanced than we ever could be locked away in here. Now what you did with Walter? That bought us some time. That thing you heard that sounded like an old car was something they like to call a Tesla drill. Meant to reverse the electronic locks that keep Vault 54 extra air tight. You can thank yourself and Walter for making that happen because they can't get in. <laughs> Current ain't powerful enough or something of that sort. Anyway, I've been chatting with them. You've been what? Settle down, Bunny. It's all for a good cause. What in the world could be good that comes out of those guys? Them not killing us. I've been contacted by a high-ranking official in the Enclave via the Overseer Terminal. We've been messaging back and forth like a couple of schoolgirls, but that's the only way. This is making me wish Jensen would have shot the darn thing. No, Bunny. This is our only link with the outside world, and the only way we can make a bargain. What's the offer? It took some negotiating, but in the end, I got the Enclave official to agree to my terms. The project I explained prior will be in their hands as long as the lives of the Vault 54 residents are spared. <laughs> you really think they'll own up? It's all we've got. And regardless, they'll be getting that door open one way or another. Least we can do is benefit. I thought you said the Tesla drill wouldn't work. For now, the dang Enclave has one of their top men on the hunt for something to give it a little more juice. And then what happens? We make the exchange. The project schematics for the safety of this vault. We can't make it sure enough that the Enclave will uphold their promise. That's why we'll have about 50 guys posted up at the entrance with the biggest guns you ever seen. I thought you said they'd have power armor. I did, but hey, even that ain't bulletproof. So what do you say, Bunny? What choice do I have? Excellent! You made the right choice. I'll get started on your first job then. Well, this is only a waiting game for now, isn't it? It would be, if we had the dang schematics. They were stolen? Very recently, when the early looters took a small advantage over the overseer's office when he died. Didn't want the bodies, I guess. Had to cremate them both. The terminal was unlocked, so some deranged psychos managed to crack open the overseer's tunnel here behind the desk. When we came in, only a few of the papers were missing. But the Enclave wants the whole booklet. Bet on it that they'll overthrow this whole place if we don't deliver. When are they coming, and where can I start looking? Lucky for us, we have a lead on the... <laughs> Overseer's office. Sir, Officer Smith just went AWOL. Broke off from patrol, and is headed for the medical ward. Repeat, the medical ward. What? That's towards the militia territory. You idiots better hogtie that fool. Yes, sir. We can see him just up ahead. Hey, stop, or I'll shoot. <laughs> what in Sam Hill is going on here? Officer? Officer? Darn it, that other thing can wait. I'm gonna need you to head down to the medical ward immediately. Look, I hardly question orders, but I don't know you, or what I just heard on the intercom just now. Give me substance, or I will refuse to name you overseer. Give me a break already, Bunny. An untainted officer was just shot, and there's a bad apple on the loose. Crops! No wonder he put a Mr. Handy in this place. It's a wonder he didn't poison that coffee we drank. Bunny, you need to hightail it out of here before that spy warns the whole militia about your presence. I want that drunkard of a radio announcer pulled from his position and put by my side. What the? Dusty? You know who I mean. That kid nearly got himself killed because that stupid partner he had tried to shoot one of my boys. But we both know it wasn't him. We cannot trust. You're ejecting him from his position until further notice, or I'm calling this plan of yours the lost cause from the beginning. Ugh. Fine, but you better hop on his case like flies on Nuka-Cola. Don't worry. With Dusty on my side, we'll solve this case, or my name isn't Bunny. <laughs> Thanks.
Thanks for bringing me out of that booth, Bonnie. I'd much rather be doing this. Glad to hear it, Dusty. I was being sarcastic, you know. Look, I got you out of one of the worst things a boy your age could be doing. Now, unless you enjoyed the censorship broadcasting system back there, be my guest. No, no. Just don't care for being shot at, is all. Oh. No need to fret your pretty little head about that. You probably have enough alcohol in your body to stop the pain from bullets. Heh. <laughs> That's reassuring. Thank you. Now, you do have a level amount in your head to understand what's going on here, right? Other than the fact that you slapped a twenty-two revolver in my hand and to follow you. Not much. Oh, please. I'm a newsman, Bunny. I know exactly what's been going on around here. Let's all remember you were the one in Dreamland for two days. <laughs> Humor me, then. Quick rundown, okay? Overseer got double-crossed by what he thought was his own guy. Overheard you were back in action even after the big showdown with Walter and Jensen. Knows you're going to help steal back those blueprints. Yeah, when Custard's guards steal your hooch and hang around the booth, words tend to get out. Nice gathering of intel, Dusty. Though now, things would be getting quite nerve-wracking for the two-faced guard that planned on carrying this message out. Right up here is the last place he could have crawled to. The medical storage room, right? The one place Dr. Daniels wouldn't let us see. Because he knew that that blood sample from Marty Carlone wouldn't be there. Here's the door. Keep your gun at the ready, but don't shoot. I think I hear something. Okay. Door's about to slide. Oh, jeez. Hey! Put your hands up. Ah, uh, no. They got the dame on me. You bet your keister they did. Now put down the burner. You're cornered. <laughs> Guess I am. But you're about to be. Jesse, get behind me. Is it... Is it over? Yes, Dusty. Got him in the one place bulletproof armor can't cover. What in the heck is that? Rats. Looks like he called in his buddies from the pit boy signal he turned on. Wait, 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 wait. You, you mean there's more coming? Keep your head on straight. Response time can't be that quick with these interlopers. Here, you want to do some shooting? Aim for that pit boy on the dead guy's arm. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Hey, good shot, Dusty. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Now let's see what this stiff had on him. Oh, jeez, Bunny. You sure nailed him good. That's not really a compliment either. I'm, I'm just trying to accept the fact that I saw a man get a hole blown in his face. Hey, I witnessed the Golden Gala ballroom shooting firsthand. This is peanuts. It could have ended much worse. Now, keep an eye on the door. Uh, okay, okay. Man, look at all these tonics and stuff. Blood and bodily fluids, Dusty. Ugh, gross. All right, Bonnie, I'm at the ready near the door. You find anything? Ugh, nothing but average security items. Trusty combat knife, baton, extra bullets. I'll take those. Uh, Bunny, looks like the call went through. Mm, no, nothing here. Bunny? What is this? Aha! Yo! Uh-huh? Company! Good! Uh, yeah, remind me how that's good. Because after what we do to those men coming at us, the message will be clear not to mess with us. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you have in mind? And you might want to make it quick. Understood. You see those spare oxygen tanks? Yep. Throw him as far as he can in the hallway we came in through. Hurry now. Roger that. Good. Now, chuck a bottle of that bourbon on top of him. I know you have it on you. <laughs> Anything to get rid of the alcohol, huh, Bunny? Jeez. Now, we just wait for them to get a little closer. Is that a match? I was never a lighter person myself. Come on. Hold on. I'm just gonna light this cigarette. Oops. Hurry, Dusty, through the vents. Fire should hold off the boots for a while. Up there. All right, all right, hoist me up. Ugh, pray we'll both fit. Come on. Close, Pony. Thank goodness for our small frame. We can just shimmy right through these vents. <laughs> Say that now. Get a beer belly and you can call yourself a sitting duck kid. What is this, an addiction group? Anyway, you find anything on that security guard? Oh, yeah. A ripped off piece of paper. Nice, nice. Good find. 
What the? Why, this, this looks like the time and date. Is this a lead? I found it right before the attack. Looks like our guy was expecting to have a little meeting somewhere with the other crooked cops. See those names on the list? Sammy, Tanner, and Savage? Yeah. Those three must be the ringleaders of the operation. Used to be part of Mackenzie's internal vault security. That guy Smith we just killed had to be some cheap rookie they hired to play as Custer's new guard. He was put there specifically for threats like me. And I bet you he was leaking other secrets before I arrived. A grade A rat, huh? But what about those schematics you mentioned before? You think those three guards have anything to do with them? I know they do. We just need to find out where the meeting's being held first in order to do so. Smart for not listing the location on the node, but they forgot Bunny is on their tail. I'm surprised at you, Carlo. Whoa, what the hell was that? Shh. Sounds like someone's talking where the vent drops off. Over there. Easy now. Now I'm surprised at you, Carlo. Days of solid intel and all of a sudden you can't think straight. Something doesn't add up. And maybe it's his age. Mine's shot. No, nah, it's possible, but not for Carlo. He might be on the take for someone. Ooh, that wouldn't be good. Please, I'll get what I know through the grapevine. I'll hide and leave my house. Yeah, from who? Passing patrols. They chatter a lot. But today it was nothing. Nah, no, I'm not liking the sound of this one. Right on top of them. Bonnie, my pet boy's saying I got a 95% chance of nailing these suckers in the head. No, don't shoot them. Looks like they're leaving. Just have something for Morelli by this time tomorrow. And it better be good. Or we gonna have to give you another bum leg. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will. Tell him I send my respect. Hey, you just focus on that intel, Marty. Mr. Morelli doesn't need your respect. Good day. <sighs> what even was that? You're about to find out. Let's jimmy this ventilation shaft. Whatever you say. Oh, Marana. Oh, God. I think I just swallowed a freaking screw. Ow, ow, oh. ow. I might need surgery if that stim pack couldn't do it. Hey, you should try some medics. It does wonders. How the heck did you two get out of my house? <laughs> Marty, it's me. Bunny? <laughs> it's me, Mr. Carlone. What just happened? Bunny... What are you doing falling from the ceiling like that? Lorana, I thought you were dead. And who was this? I apologize for nearly giving you a heart attack, Marty. We were just eavesdropping on that friendly little conversation you were having with those two crooked vault guards just now. Two days out of consciousness and I'm back in action. <laughs> oh, and this is Dusty. I'm taking him along with me for the help. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carlone. Hey, I know that voice. You're the announcer, Phil, on the radio, aren't you? <laughs> when I don't have the overseer sensor bar on me, yes. What's this all about, Bunny? You said you both just heard the... exchange? Yes, Marty. We heard the whole thing. Sounds like those hoodlums that like to call themselves guards have you by the throat. Me and Dusty here mean to find out how to get to the core of this operation. It's been total chaos since I awoke, but I won't let that stop me. Though, for now, I'm glad to see that you're alive and okay, Marty. The things I saw Jensen's men do before the fall were so hideous. Well, uh, situation's gotten like a cut that won't heal ever since you and that detective left my room the other day. Daniels dies after he apparently tried to frame me, and then that breaking story in the ballroom just the next day. I was drifting out to sleep with some music playing on the radio, and then your new buddy started yelling on the mic so loud, I almost fell out on my couch. Say, where is that fellow in the fancy threads? <laughs> well... We were all freaking out. Walter, he... He had to go before we closed the vault. I know he was hard on you, but please forgive him. The fate of the vault was at stake. Eh, well, this disappointment didn't work out so well. It was going to happen anyway. Best we had was a few more days until things were looking like this. Oh, me and Dusty here, along with our new overseer, plan to change that. I heard what happened to Mackenzie. Lost an old friend that day. Please, ask me anything. I'll do all I can to help bring things back to normal. First things first. Who were those two roughhousers? I've seen some bare-knuckle guards, but I'm no fan of elderly abuse. You got the skinny on them? Ugh. Those two... <laughs> came in the night of the big bomb shutdown. Told me to stay put and don't dare open the door. <laughs> Not like I was planning to. The entire floor was a madhouse that day. But anyway, they come back in, and ever since, 
They've been wanting me to spill answers about stuff I don't even know. Must have been Jensen's man. You bet you're up there, Lair. Looks like there are enough guards to split the vault into two military factions. Like a cool thing going 100% smoothly. I ain't planning on leaving anytime soon. So I've been noticing daytime and nighttime patrols of different guards. Or at least I think so. I tell those two hotheads about it. And they say the daily patrols are for some guy named Custer. M that's a new overseer. Uh, now it all makes sense. Well, in that case, to make a long story short, those guards gone bad want me to gather info of what I hear from the daytime patrols as a toll, so to speak. A toll? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you heard those guys tell me my other leg would be broken if I didn't give them anything useful. For some reason, they think the overseer's patrols are always talking about something sensitive that I can repeat back to them. I mean, I'm willing to make something up, but how long before they figure out I lied? My gosh, Walter was totally right. One desire to leave this vault, and the next thing you know, friends and family are at each other's necks. Though an old-timer like you, Marty, they'll pay for this. What I want to know is why these wise guys seem to have it only out for you, specifically. You can't be the only resident they count on. I'll tell you why. Tom freaking Morelli. No. Yep. He's the one that gave me my bum leg while I was in prison. Like I told you and the detectives the other day. Hold on. Tom Morelli? Why? He can't be any older than you, can he? Yeah. My sources say he hasn't operated in over 30 years. That was when he was young and spry, like me. Had more run-ins with him and his men back in the day. But being old in this life doesn't mean you can still operate. Once you take the coat of a muerta, becoming a made man, nothing can get you out besides death. Well, what does this old mobster have to do with Officer Jensen's old crew? Officer Jensen was crooked. Mr. Morelli is crooked. I can guess when he died. Tom Silas is a perfect opportunity to gain power in the vault like he used to. The McKenzie administration really put down the organized crime business. He knows I'm still alive. So I'm guessing he's using his new friends to torture me while I still live. Why, that's simply awful, Marty. I know it's some big family code, but you're an old man that's done nothing to deserve this. Especially if three decades with no contact separate you. Sounds like you really can hold a grudge. And I'm positive he has whatever you do and looking for. I ain't gonna ask what, but I guarantee you he has hired goons up to the neck in his meeting room. You happen to know where that is? We found this little folded paper with some names on it. We got it off of one of Morelli's spies just now. Uh-huh. That's uh, a meeting, all right. 8.45 tonight. You guys better hurry. They tend to run to those sit-downs rather quick. Where? Atrium. Place is practically stacked by Morelli and his men. Perfect spot for a big meeting. Looks like he struck gold bullet in this little bit of scratch paper. Morelli must have passed this to his most trusted men. Nice takedown. And you think he might have the goods that Overseer Custer is looking for? He has to. There's nothing valuable but those schematics in this place anymore. Can't believe some confusing piece of paper can make or break the vault. Hey, that bill already did. And it wasn't even physical. So we know it's being held in the atrium, but the question is, how do we get in without sticking out like sore thumbs? You could call those two idiots back in here, pop them, and take their outfits. I think I like this guy. No. It's an idea, but if we get caught, it's a curtains for everyone in Vault 54. No. I've got something better. I don't want to waste another bourbon on some crazies again, Bunny. Why can't we just snag the papers in disguise and- Oh, and then what, tough guy? Risk it all by dodging bullets from what? Twenty guards? No. I know this vault from top to bottom. I had to. There's a little surprise in the atrium they'll never see coming. In that case, Morelli will be the one with the custom-made suit and tie, all white with blood red rose in his lapel. Should be a little younger in the face than I am, but he can always be spotted by that specific wispy stash of his. You sure this is gonna work? I know it will, Dusty. There's no doubt in my mind. Risky, yes, but... Criminals like these tend to hand everything over when they're under duress. Even Tom Morelli. He's nothing special. Trust me, kid. Bunny may be a sweetheart, but I once saw her hogtie some guy with the nuka shakes and slowly pour four quantums down the drain. <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's what he gets for raiding the kitchen fridge. I'm just a little uncertain, Bunny. Hey, keep your head up. You might see something neat. Marty, we can't thank you enough. Anything for you, Bunny. Oh, and as for those two guards, feel free to feed them the lead from that 9mm Walter and I frisked for you. 
You won't have to worry about getting worked over ever again. Thank you. by welcoming and congratulating you distinguished men and women for both your bravery and heroism in this very secretive fold. <laughs> Though not all of the overseer's secret, shall I say, transcripts were not delivered, I can understand it's the very best we could do without being spotted. Today we can all safely confirm that the blueprint schematics for Overseer Mackenzie and Custer's project, Conveyance, is now safely in our grasp. Now, as for the updated status of our new friends in the Enclave, we've been gracefully trusted by the commanding officer with the assurance all of us will receive a safe and secure passageway out of the vault and into the wasteland, which means the Morelli family will live on. What? Did you hear that? They got support from the Enclave. Seems like they do. Well, the whole point was to get the schematic to make the exchange for our freedom. Right, Bunny? Right. I don't know, Dusty. I wasn't a trustee of the Enclave to begin with. They think they wouldn't be watched by the folks like us, so I doubt Morelli is lying, let alone to his own men. There's only one part that scares me. And what's that? Custer said he needed the full schematic pages for the Enclave to make a clean exchange. Yeah, but what's that mean? Well, if that's the case, we were being duped from the start. Morse code was our only means of getting in contact with the army. And gratefully, it worked. And please, there's no need for mistrust in our new friends. The Enclave tapped us in on something our own overseer does not. And that is the fact they really think the Enclave are on their side. It was all a question of materials. The team with the most important gets freedom. That is us, gentlemen. There he is. White soup, hell, funny mustache. Just like Marty explained. What do we do now? Want to shoot him? Amazing. What? Did you not hear that? Those mafiosos just bought themselves a freedom train with the Enclave. <laughs> all those promises from before, the exchange, all lies. In two, though short time, an agent of the Enclave will arrive with a major component crucial for opening the vault. And when that happens, we won't be the ones ducking for plasma fire. Looks like Jensen left us with the last piece of the pie, gentlemen. <laughs> and we're about to finish it. All right, I've heard enough. You gonna initiate that secret plan of yours now, Bunny? You bet I am. But it ain't gonna be a secret for much longer. You see that tiny room over there to the right of you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Quickly, run in there, find that pipe to the far right corner, and twist it left as far as you can. You hear me? All the way left until it comes loose. And keep that door open. Gotcha. I'm on it, buddy. Oh, you're about to get it, you smug son of a gun. As you see in front of you on the table, the three apprehended blueprints for Project Conveyance are in mint condition. No rips or tears or signs of ill authenticity. These are the schematics, people. And I'd be more than happy to finally share them with you. Though our efforts would have been failed if it weren't for the bravery of officers Sammy, Savage, and Smith. <laughs> the Triple S, I would call them. And I plan on having these three amazing soldiers honored and made men in the family. Gosh, that was close. Did you get the pipe unscrewed? <gasps> yeah, but like a million eyes were on me. What now? Now we wait. Aha, Mr. Samuel Masters, stand right up here. Not a savage, stand on up. And lastly, Jack Smith. <laughs> Jack, where are you? Right here, you scoundrel. What the heck is this? Who are you? 
No one for as far as you know, Morelli. And I think it would be wise to put out that fancy-looking cigar that you have. Hey, I know you. You're that slender little thing walking around with the detective the other day. Who do you think you are, waving that gat around here like you're running things? I have more than 20 machine guns trained on you right now. Because if one of you shoots, this place will go up in flames. Same goes for those schematics. I just had my friend here unscrew the gas valve. And it would be a real shame if the Enclave didn't get what they came here for. Now, do what I say, and put out the tobacco. What the? You made me uncap the gas valve, Bunny. This is crazy. Hey, all you calm down. Hey! All right, Missy. I'll put out the light. There, no more cigar. All right. I want to see all guns down. And hands in the air. I'm coming down. <coughs> oh, hurry, Bunny. The smell is killing me. What do you expect to win here, Dame? Huh? Overseer Custer's commendation? The Enclave's trust? You've got another thing coming. Oh, trust me. You're nothing special. What? The Enclave promised you freedom? Ah, I heard what you said. That all you gangsters had the upper hand over the vault police? Bad chance. What do you mean? We got the same old spiel. Hand over the goods and all is forgiven. But we... You had yourself believed that the Enclave were double-crossing us in favor of you? That's the oldest trick in the book. Whatever they're busting in this vault with, it'll be nothing but a Trojan horse. You wise guys are too dumb to know that. Why, you... you're a liar. Do I? Now, are these the schematics? Are they? Yes, damn it. Hmm. Not like anything I've seen, but if that's it, that's it. You just be lucky so I don't have to call reinforcements on you boys. Now, Dusty, they've been merciful, so we'll return the favor. Keep the elevator open, and they can handle the gas valve. It's open, Bunny. Oh, come on. Bunny, huh? And don't you forget it. That's fine. I will. What are you... Boss, what are you doing? Tell him to put that lighter down. Boss, stop! Bunny, get up here. Boss, please! Put it away! The Enclave wants this damn place so bad, they can have it. Too bad it's gonna be charred. Boss, please! Hit the button, Dusty. Roger, let's get out of here. Salute, everyone. Shin Dong. me that the Enclave that we spent days on in bargaining with already had plans for Morelli and his gang? They had plans for all of us, Overseer Custer. Just when it seemed like the vault was torn into two sides, they divided us another time. Tom Morelli fell for the same thing we did when I heard him say the Enclave would cater to them, even without the full pages of the blueprints. And it's starting to sound like they'll be taking what they want from us by force, including us. Huh. And besides, Mr. Custer, could we have really fully thought that the Enclave wouldn't play us for saps? They don't care about us. No need to ponder on that thought. We knew there was a possibility of treason directly from the start. We just didn't know they had the same thing in mind for that Tom Morelli. <sighs> Looks like they all wanted us to fall for the bait. And we did. For a while. So, what now? Bunny, did you actually see the schematics? Right before Morelli blew him and his men to pieces. He called it Project Conveyance. Here, take a gander. At all of them. Whoa. Why, these look like blueprints or something an old pre-war military used. Wow. That's because they are. Beneath the Overseer's Tunnel is what we have left of that project before Overseer Mackenzie died. The nature of the Project Conveyance is something me and my men realized could be rightly beneficial official to the Enclave, if they had their hands on it. Now we only have one, but in the Army Boys' custody, it could be a recipe for disaster. They can make copies. And what is this exactly? Heh, <laughs> you ready for this? Yes, of course. Follow me then, into the Overseer's Tunnel.
prepare yourselves because when I flip this here light, ain't no going back. I'm ready. Here we go then. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? Say hello to the main event, Project Conveyance. She's a prototype, but she's the only one in the world. And I'll see to it that it stays that way. But what, what is it? This here is an automobile designed like a 1928 Rolls Royce. But don't be fooled, though she may look nice, she handles like a dragon out of Hades. What makes her so special can range from her military grade bulletproof wheels, her fusion powered nuclear engine, or my favorite, the power armored body. This thing can break past the police barricade without a scratch on it. But, but what would we ever use it for? It's nice. No, beautiful, but, but what need could we have for it in a vault? That's because it won't. What the? We planned for a day like this, Bunny. Couldn't build a bus to evacuate the whole vault, though a good eight passengers, if you count the trunk, could make it out just fine into the wasteland. What are you talking about? We all know that there's only one exit to this place. No, you don't. This here room's an elevating garage, so to speak. Now, it only opens once, so I suggest you choose wisely, Bunny. Stay here and wait for certain doom, or head out further west. I hear from the Enclave they used to be at large there, so there shouldn't be threats when you get there. When? Overseer Custer, I'm flattered by the gesture, and I adore the car, but I've said before that this is the place for me. No matter how screwy it gets. Oh, come on now. That's just like you saying you'd prefer to die. Well, maybe I do. This is my home. I was already asked to live in the waste once, and I denied. That's because we thought that this was the end of it. Think with your head sometimes, Bunny. Not your heart. An investigator of your expertise has use beyond the squabbles of vault affairs. Find it in your heart to help some place that isn't doomed. Don't you see? I... I... Say, what, Bunny? I don't know about half of the stuff we worked on, but Overseer Custer's right. The last case has been solved in this vault. There's really nothing you can wait on but trying your luck shooting at some power-armored freaks until they vaporize you. I'm not questioning your ability by all means, but it's time. They'll be here soon, and for the safety of my own men, I'm calling off the exchange. If they want to see these schematics so badly, they can try sifting through their ashes now. What? But... But you know I can't leave you here. If hitting the road is what you want, so be it. But you can at least come with me. Get out while you can, right? It's tempting, but... Nah. Nope. The Enclave expects me. I made a promise. But what they'll find will be our last kick in the head to them. Trust me. Well, you're coming with me, right, Dusty? I don't know. That's unless the Overseer still needs me. Not at this point, kid. Take turns behind the wheel on your journey, though. Car may be advanced, but we ain't got no autopilot. <laughs> I... I will... Well, thank you, Overseer Custer. Thank you for everything. Don't mention it. It's really me who should be thanking you. Head out west, you two. America may be in two-century-old shambles, but it's still the land of opportunity, dang it. Get on in the jalopy while I activate the platform to the surface. From there, hit the gas. Head straight on west until you find your destination. And don't look back. You got me? Yes, sir. Of course. Wait, where should we go? What should we expect? I mean, I don't have any records of any old... Cool it. I, uh, I've heard rumors of a place before, if it stands. I still have a map of America you can use. Don't get your hopes up. There's a good chance it could be gone. How the heck do you even drive this thing? Owner's manual. Check it out in the glove compartment. Oh, before I go... Do you mind if I leave a little something behind? For an old friend? Of course. But hurry it up, will you? If in the hundred to one chances this letter finds its way to you, I've left Walt 54. Odds are, by the time you've read this letter, I have made my way to the Jewel of the Desert, the one place where the Enclave might not find me. New Vegas. If all goes smoothly, I've settled in with my own place of business, something like yours in Carbon. 
I do not urge you to follow me, but this is where you'll find me. I truly hope life has turned around since your exit from the vault. And I hope even more that you find this note. With love, Bunny.